Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the strategy design pattern. So strategy design pattern is a part of a behavioral design pattern which will allow us to define different sets of algorithm for the different subclasses and how we can use them interchangeably. Okay? I know the definition was confusing but let's try to understand with one of the examples here. So let me take the example where I'm trying to define one navigation app for the users. Okay. So suppose I'm trying to create a navigation app. Okay. And this navigation app will help the users to define their routes like where to go from where. Okay. This is a simple thing that I'm trying to design for the customers. Once this application was developed and everything was running smoothly, there was a feedback and requirement to have those automated routes as well. So it's like a Google Maps, right? Like where I can define, okay, I want to go here and it should give me the proper routes based on the different vehicle types that I can use. Okay. So what I decided was, okay, let's try to first build with the car vehicle. Okay. So if it's a car, if it's a car, what I will do is for a car, I will try to identify a proper route for a source and destination. And what I will give is I'll give a proper map. Like if you are going to travel with a car, then this is the path that you should follow to reach to your destination. Okay. So this is the path that I'm route that I'm providing based on the source and destination using the car. Okay. So that is the algorithm that I have defined for car because car needs a bigger space so i have to select all the highways and big streets only okay now i got a request and i am enhancing my application to design for the bike as well okay now for the bikes if i select the bike and if i want to go to the same source and destination then there might be possibility that a route is different because bike can use less space and I should use that particular route so that a user can reach the destination very quickly. Okay. So for that, I am selecting a different route based on the source and destination for the bike. So for this, the algorithm would be different, right? For the first the algorithm was different. So now you can see that for the same route, for the same source and destination for the same route with the different types of vehicle I'm using different algorithms and based on that different algorithms different route will be identified okay that will have the best ETA now the another enhancement that I am providing is to use the public transports as well okay now for the public transport to define the routes there has to be different algorithm where I can define you have to take this particular uh, metro or this particular train or this particular bus to reach to your destination which stations you should go or which bus stop you should go to reach that particular destination. So you can see for that route the entire algorithm will be different. So you can see that based on the type of vehicles that you define okay how you want to travel your algorithms are also different right that means your strategies are different to identify your routes. Okay, so to handle that we will be using a strategy design pattern where we won't be just relying on the hard coded if and else conditions, we will just define a separate behavior separate strategies. And based on the strategy that you define, your algorithms will be selected and you will get a proper result. Okay, so this is how you will be designing the strategy design pattern. Let's take one more example and we will go through the code as well. So here let me take the example of a simple calculator where you are doing the addition, subtraction, multiplications and everything. Where what you will do is ideally you have to define a strategy first. Okay, so what you will do you will define a strategy that will be the interface. Okay, so this is what you will define like you will define a strategy interface and for that particular strategy there will be different strategies that will be implementing this interface. Okay, so with this what we will be defining is for every strategy there will be a method to perform that action and all those different concrete classes who is implementing this particular strategy interface will have to implement those do action method. Okay, that's a simple thing. So suppose I'm defining a add strategy as an interface and within that I am adding the suppose I'm making a calculator, right? So suppose I'm adding a add strategy to define the addition. Okay, so for that I will implement this interface strategy and within that action I will perform the addition operation. Okay, if I'm defining the subtraction strategy, don't mind my spellings, my spellings are really bad. 
and my handwriting is also okay so for that this subtract strategy what i'll do i'll just again implement the strategy interface and i will do the subtraction operation within that do action method okay and all these strategies all these strategies will be defined based on the context that we provide okay so this context will have what strategies needs to be used and based on that we will call the actions method now this context is something that we have used earlier as well within the state design pattern but how we are going to use this context is different than state design pattern in state design pattern context used to hold the state itself of the objects but here within the context it will not hold the state but it will pass along the strategy and whatever the strategy has been defined in the context that strategy will be executed okay so enough jibber jabber let's go through the code and understand this example so here you can see that this is my IntelliJ idea and i have defined some classes over here so let's first understand the strategy interface so here you can see that i have defined the strategy interface here and this strategy interface has one method that is do operation and this method is taking two arguments that is number one and number two and two things should be and any operation should be performed on these two numbers okay that's the strategy now there are different concrete classes for this strategy as well so the first one is operation add okay so this is one of the strategy so this operation add is implementing strategy and it is also implementing the do operation method here so within this do operation method it is taking to number and it is returning number one plus number two okay the same way we have used for the subtract as well where it will return number one minus number two and the same thing we have done for the multiply as well where we will return num1 into num2 so we can see that all the three classes are implementing the strategy interface and all the do operation method is taking two numbers and doing different operations based on the strategy that we have defined okay now we have the context as well so here you can see that this context will pass along the strategies that needs to be used okay so here you can see that whenever the context class is created we are passing along the strategy okay but in the state design pattern what we were doing is whenever the context was created we were not passing along the state but we used to set the state based on the context and the methods that behavior that we have to call okay so this is a different where in the strategy design pattern context will pass along the strategies that needs to be used and within the state design pattern context will store the state itself okay so now you can see that the context will pass along the strategy and that strategy has been used and we have a method execute strategy where we are going to pass the numbers and we are going to call the operation on it okay so that's a simple thing that we have defined here now how we will call how client will call this context and strategies so if we go to this strategy application here you can see that this is our main method and what we have done is we have created a context okay with a strategy so what is the strategy operation add okay so that means this context should do the addition okay the next one is this is a new context with operation subtract so that means this context should do the subtraction and this context should do the multiplication so three contexts we have defined and we have just called the execute strategy for that particular context so what it will do is we know that this context is passing the operation add and whenever we will call this it will do the addition this will do the subtraction and this will do the multiplication so if you run this application we should get the same result so here you can see that we are getting the same result that is addition subtraction and multiplication so you can see that how simply we have defined the strategy design pattern rather than using if else condition we just define the strategy interface and the concrete classes and a context that will pass along the strategy so this is how we can implement the strategy design pattern and if you are using different types of algorithms and based on the some selection attributes you have to change those algorithms at that time we can use this strategy design pattern in our applications if you have any queries regarding any of the things that we have covered then do let me know in the comment section below so it takes a lot of time to create this video so a sub would be much appreciated it is really free for you and it gives a lot of motivation for me to create such videos i will see you in the next video till then happy coding. Bye-bye.